Are we ready for this? Are we ready for this? Welcome everybody. This is Simeon from Praisetracks.com, home of the joyful sound. And we've got some joyful sounds happening right now. All right. Wow. What an amazing day. What an amazing day. We had some furniture guys come over and help um, add some stuffing to our cushions, and <laughs> we've just had a, an amazing day today. Mm. It is so good to see everybody. And yes, I still have my, uh, my cargo shorts on. I, I sometimes go into thermal denial, and uh, it takes me a while to uh, get transferred over. But I am just so excited about today. As usual, it's going to be just jam-packed. I, I pack everything is, that I can into these, and uh, it's going to be so much fun. Um, well, first of all, big shout-outs to everybody uh, in the chat uh, I'll just, I mean, I see, I'm just seeing from the bottom to the top in no particular order, Halvard and Shane, Rodrigo and uh, Chris, all of you guys, Matt, Les and uh, Peaches and Justin, all of you guys, Ambient Dave, it's so good to see you guys. Uh, a lot of, a lot of channels do shout outs at the end, but you know what? We're a big family and welcome, uh, welcome to everybody. Um, before we get started into everything, uh, you know, seeing Rodrigo, uh, Rodrigo here uh, reminded me of last week's live stream, which was insane. Uh, it was just so incredible. I think it was the longest live stream that I've done. But we focused on uh, the whirlwinds from um, VSL, and we gave nine of those away. And uh, so Rodrigo was one of the winners of the Tin Whistle. And he has, uh, he has so generously offered uh, for us to make a drawing uh, to give this away to someone. So, um, so I thought I would go ahead and take care of that. You know, with the giveaways and everything that we've been doing, uh, it is, it's just a learning process. And so I'm, I'm really learning about uh, how to do these uh, and get these things going. But if you would like to win uh, a copy of the Tin Whistle, all you need to do is just... Um, be a participant here in the chat, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, try. I'm going to try something different with uh, with our uh, a giveaway system, and uh, we've got um, we've got 21 users in the chat. I'm going to do a random number. Uh, so this is going to be a random number, and uh, I'm going to just say uh, between uh, because we've got tw we've got like 20. Okay, so I'm going to wait a couple more seconds and um, let a few more of you guys get in the chat. But I'm gonna do a number between one and 40, and, and I'll, just show you what, um, I'll just show you what's going on, just so we're totally transparent. So I see, I see the, the chat here, Nightbot is monitoring this chat, and so I've got um, a number between zero and 40, and when I hit roll it, Nightbot is going to uh, pull a number, and so, Whoever uh, types the correct number first, yeah, not yet, <laughs> not yet. So, uh, so when I hit when I hit roll it, uh, Nightbot will pick a number, and then whoever gets that number, however it passes through Nightbot's chat, is what uh, is how it's going to select. Don't do it yet, not yet. Hold on. <laughs> and I know we've got. Uh, let me and let me just uh, double check the um, the latency too. Okay, so it's normal latency. So we've got a little, we've got a little lag that's going on. But um, you know, and I'm always working on ma managing that as well. Oh, there we go. So um, yeah, yeah, that's one of the issues that uh, the chat is not synchronized because everybody around the world, I'm sending it from the from the heart of the United States, and it's going out. So. I can um, I can clap my hands here, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012. So it's so like for me, it's like 12 seconds. So that's quite a bit. So what I'll do, so what what I'll do is um, is I'll I will say, I okay I can't do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to, um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do roll it and then wait 
and let I'm going to wait 12 seconds before I tell you guys to start um, start doing it, and that way it'll be time. We're going to figure this out uh, because I always want to make sure always want to make sure that uh, that we have the best chance to have the best live stream that we can have. Okay, so we're going to pick a number between zero and 40, and do not type a number until I tell you to. Um, and uh, I'm going to um, going to count this down. I'm going to count this down. Okay. So if okay, so here we go. Here we go. I see it. I see it. I see it. Type in it until somebody, you can get more than one guess. I might have in decreased that number. Okay, okay, so there we go. Digivolt, uh, Digivolt has won. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I think what I might do is decrease the num uh, decrease that number. <laughs> but uh, ta-da, and that is so cool. So, um, yeah, so let's see. It looked like Digivolt, uh, Digivolt won. So uh, you can, so Digivolt won the giveaway. Uh, so Nightbot picked up number... Um, it was like number 29, I think. Yeah, 29. So the number was 29. So congratulations, uh, Digivolt. So uh, send me an email to uh, winners, winners at praisetracks.com, and uh, that will be a way to get in touch with me to make sure we can get, uh, get your prize to you. And thanks again to Rodrigo. Um, uh, Thanks again to Rodrigo for his uh, generosity. Yeah, there is a there is a massive delay. Uh, there's like a 12 second delay, and I think that's what we're buttoned up against. And I wonder, I can't end the stream, but uh, but I think this is yeah. So we'll just we'll just go on <laughs> and deal, deal with it down the road. But um, thanks everybody, congratulations. So what I want to do is uh, let's just pull up the, um, let's pull up what we're gonna do. And I, okay, so just to get some more things out of the way, so to speak, uh, I get a lot of requests to show um, different libraries and I do a lot of piano book stuff and make sure that you um, tune in to the piano book um, channel uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow around 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, they're gonna do a special, uh, a special monthly thing that they do. And um, so, um, so make sure you tune into the Piano Book channel. You may see somebody. You you may see somebody familiar there. <laughs> okay. So someone had requested that I sh uh, just do uh, this woodland piano. I, I've gotten a, a few requests for that, and so I thought I would go ahead and just kind of start off with something kind of easy, and um, just to uh, get us get get us going. And the woodland piano, let's see. I do not have, um, okay, I'm gonna power down my, oh, that's why, okay. Okay, I powered my keyboard down because I did not have sustain pedal. There we go. And yeah, my mute's back. Yeah, so it's gonna be a very special episode of Piano Book uh, tomorrow, and uh, and it was, it's, it's a lot of fun. So, this is the Woodland Piano. Let's get a look at, um, yeah, and you guys, thank you so much for, um, okay, now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna power this down. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Wow, okay, so so I forgot to set my latency to um, to like low, so it's at normal latency, so it's just pushing it out that way. But uh, another thing on my checklist, 
uh, to make sure I go uh, check that out. So the Woodland Piano is, uh, let's see what it is. It's like an older, okay, it's a Yamaha Upright and recorded at 96K, 24-bit, with seven microphones, uh, wow, for three different mic positions. So that's really cool. And make sure you check out the links in the description to learn more about that. But let's uh, just kind of go through this. Just a beautiful um, Yamaha upright. And then we've got these um, different mic positions here and we can adjust the stereo spread. And then we've got these different uh, layers here. They're like leaves, so we can use those as faders and bring up the felt layer. Let's see. Yeah, da, da, da. So we've got a felt layer there, and then the pedal noises. You can adjust the pedal noises and releases, and we've even got a muted layer here as well. Let me turn the pedal noises. That's one of the first things that I reach for is the pedal noises. And the releases, so we'll turn those down a little bit. And that's the muted, and then we've got a pluck to layer. And then I created a snapshot that uh, that I kind of uh, did some adjustments here. And um, let's see. Yeah. I love having all those different layers. This is great. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Uh. Yeah. So that's a little bit of the woodland piano and you can make sure that you can get uh, a copy of that for free. And it does require the full uh, version of Contact in order to use that. So thanks to Piano Book, and make sure again, tune in tomorrow, uh, uh, Saturday at around one o'clock, and get, uh, get a look at that. Okay, so um, yeah, let me see. I wanna see, let's see, there's something something going on it's like you have tons of time and <laughs> but you don't uh, you you sometimes you miss you miss different things so let me see if i can um okay because it says like slow mode was on for some reason but um i don't think i can okay ah let's see i can do that okay let's see Okay, now I think, okay, good, yay, yay, good, so good. <laughs> so slow mode is off, so you guys just be kind, because I'm trying to keep a look at the chat and keep up with everything, but uh, this is where we're gonna go to next, real quick, and um, we're gonna, we're gonna do uh, 
you know, Heaviosity has released this distortion designer called Fury, and uh, I've been playing with it for a little bit, but uh, they're getting into the effects, uh, the effects deal. I mean, I guess, you know, introducing different effects. I think they have, um, they have Punish, and now Fury is like a distortion box. And I thought, well, what better way to test this out um, is to, um, is to load this up using one of their, um, using one of their foundations instruments. And so this is like, um, this is their bass, their synth bass. And let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see here. And, uh, and so Fury, Fury looks like this. It's just amazing. It's got so many things going on. Uh, you've got different drive modes and, um, you know, you've got so much that you can do with this and you've got the, the modulation matrix. You've got our, like an arpeggiator, an arpeggiator in a distortion unit, which is, um, which is so crazy. Um, so, um, yeah. So here we go. I'm going to just, um, just pull up the uh, foundations bass and just play it with, without it. So this is just one of the, uh, presets there. And let me go to this bigger screen so we can kind of see what's going on. And let me launch Fury. There's the sequencer. And then there's where you control the balance of the drive. And let's drop down something else. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to feature this uh, last week. Um, let's go to rhythmic and... Um, Oh, let's see, rhythmic mids. Having that uh, sequencer that modulates things. It's amazing. Okay, okay, so let's let's do this. Let's uh let's pull up um let's pull up like one of the keys real quick. Um and I'm gonna do foundations. Let's do the piano. Let's do a let's do a distorted piano. And let's see. So we can go here and drop this down. It's got some uh, keys and okay. So piano tube saturation. Okay. So this is. Set rhythmic. Let's go to uh, pulsing filter. Uh oh, oh my. that sounds like our speakers just busted. <laughs> Let's see. Let's try something else. Uh, pulse factory. Wow, that's kind of wild. Okay, so it's going through this crazy thing. That step sequencer is going through, and the keys might not be the best thing for this. Let's go, okay, unstable rotary. For being just, um, for being marketed as a distortion plugin, it's got different, it's got different possibilities to it.
like that drive up. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, let's do one more. <laughs> and I'm just kind of experimenting with this uh, just on the fly here with you guys uh, because I didn't want you to miss it. And then um, I have an opportunity to give this away uh, as well. So well, let's go to experimental with the strings and uh, okay, release the ghost. Okay, yeah, wow. Well. That's crazy. Okay, let's just do a, some, um, oh, listen to that now. You hold that down. Wow. Let's go to, um, uh, let's see, heavy metal. You can really mangle it up. Now let me just uh, do it without it and uh, we can... That's crazy, let's bypass it. Yeah, listen to the difference. That's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy. And then we've got different uh, different ways we can do this. It's crazy. It's very, very heavy. <laughs> very heavy. So let's do this real quick. Let's just, let's give one of these away. Let's give a little bit of fury away and then we'll get onto the meat of everything. It's just, uh, it is, that, that's right. Yeah, Kyle, I agree. It's like, it, it, it kind of takes something and it, it, it turns it into like a synth because you've got some of the same kinds of controls and uh, it is a lot of fun. Okay, so Peaches, I could, so I was using the free foundations instruments from Heaviosity. So they've released the nylon guitar, uh, piano, uh, strings, and bass. So they've released, I think, four up to this point. So uh, you can get all of those for free, uh, and they run in the contact, the free contact player. Uh, so, um, okay, so we we know that there's going to be a, a little delay, but uh, we're going to do a number, and I'm going to see how many people we've got here. So we've got 37 people here, and um, so what I'm going to do, we're going to, let's see. Okay, we're gonna do another random number. I'm going to just do, um, I'm just gonna do 37 instead of 40 because we've got 37 users here. And so I'm going to uh, start this, um, yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, so I think, I think this, okay, so the random, okay, so the random instead of, um, okay, I, can, I see what you're talking about. Okay, let's just do that. So as long as you're, see, the, I guess the problem that we had was when we did the random roll, um, they, they, weren't, they weren't here, they had left. <laughs> so um, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's good, some good points. See, I need your guys' feedback um, because, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, me and Debbie and Chewy, we're, we're doing this, and so it's such a joy to be able to do it, but, you know, you, your support and your help and feedback and suggestions is always welcome. Okay, so let's just pick a random uh, random user out of the chat and we'll do it that way. And uh, okay, so random is better. So as long as you're here, and I think what I'm gonna do, uh, I will uh, put the, um, I'll put the counter where you have to be here within the past five minutes. Uh, and that way, it'll be sure that you're here uh, because a lot of times somebody has won a drawing and they have been off the stream, they you know because of the time differences. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go three, two, one, and we're going to give uh, Fury away to somebody. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yannick, Yannick, you are the winner. 
Yeah, it's less stressful as well. Yeah, I agree. But you know what? I'm always open to try some stuff. So, um, okay, so Yannick is the winner of Fury. And so, um, man, so make sure that you send me a message to winners at praisetracks.com, uh, winners at praisetracks.com, and I'll get that to you right away. So here we go. Okay, so it's time uh, to take a look at the banjo, and um, we're going to take a look at the banjo here. And this is another, this is another beautiful, um, beautiful library from uh, our good friends at Indigenous Sounds, uh, Tracy, uh, Tracy Collins. He's got such a touch with these, and. And right now it's on introductory price, uh, $39. And then, you know, the thing is, you need the full contact version, uh, but his prices, they, they, he doesn't do sales. He'll, he'll do an intro, he'll do an intro price, but then it'll, it'll go up just very little uh, because, um, you know, he wants to make everything manageable. So let's just get into the banjo. I've got some real special things. Uh, it just brought up, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of the Space Ghost. Banjo! I, I love Space Ghost. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull up the banjo here. And I just love the way he the way he does it. Yeah. And there's really, he puts everything, he puts everything right in front of you here. You've got two mic positions, and um, here we go. Yeah, the thing is, it gets under your fingers, and uh, it gets under your fingers, and you can, it's just, it's just so playable. Yeah. <laughs> so what you have here, uh, you have three different articulations that you can have that are velocity switched. And so when I'm playing at the softest velocity, it's uh, muted. So let me pull this up. You can pull that little handle up and it'll increase the lower velocity range. Yeah, and then you can play middle. And then when you hit it hard, it's gonna bring the bend in. And then if you wanna change what it's doing, you just click on the, uh, the zone and you can go pick up uh, like uh, or down. And all these key switches are available to you down here. Uh, this is this is a great uh, feature to be able to get things so playable. Yeah. So now I've got tremolo. Like having that tremolo there and now we've got harmony that we can play one note and it will harmonize yeah so if you guys are looking for a fiddle um uh, you, if, if we have some time, I'm, I'll show you. Uh, Tracy last year in, it re, uh, introduced the fiddle, and uh, and it is it just goes right along with uh, with this concept. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, so strum, you've got, uh, let's see. You've got some strumming. That will uh, go with the, uh, and he's put the key switches. That's cool that you can do that. And then you've got a picker. Um, and you've got different patterns. The forward roll. And then uh, forward and backward. You have to play at least three notes in order for it to pick up the full chord. And when I started playing this, um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you back a little bit. Um, So I was about nine years old. I was about nine years old when um, I went with some other family members to um, to my uh, grandma, Grandma Williams, and my uncle Sherman uh, was an electronics geek. You know, he was an engineer, kind of like he loved electronics. He was a bass player. He had built um, he had built a studio in his in the garage and had had us all come over and we. Um, had banjos, guitars, and had a little Farfisa or Vox organ. And I was about nine years old. And we just started singing these old, um, old gospel songs, bluegrass songs. And my dear friend, Bob Johnson, um, the gentleman that really was my inspiration uh, when I was little, uh, he was uh, totally blind, but he played the banjo guitar and he played the banjo on this particular song. And, um, and I and I had I gotta share this. I've got to share this with you. So what you're gonna hear, what you're getting ready to hear is um, you're what you're getting ready to hear. If I didn't mute it, you're gonna hear the original recording. This this has to be uh, over 40, 45 years ago. I would say I would say it has to be forty five years ago. So uh, this is called um, Life's Railway to Heaven. And this is a classic bluegrass. And so you're gonna hear, and you're also gonna hear a little voice in the background uh, repeating the words. And you know what, that's gonna, that's yours truly. So let's take a quick listen to this. And uh, I've got something really fun we're gonna do. So I'm trying to sing that high harmony. Okay, and so that's that's it. So I was repeating the words because I didn't know. And so so what the bluegrass what the bluegrass mode does. It, uh, it's a, it's a, so I'm gonna click, click, click this on here. It's just a, an interval. It's an interval. So we've got uh, bluegrass. And you can change your, select your master key here. Uh, so this has got blues, it's got a third up. And then fourth. So it's it's a matter of the intervals. 
and you can set the master key. So if you're in the key of G, make sure you're in G or E minor. Um, yeah, but that's a, that's a little bit of Life's Railway to Heaven. And the thing, the thing about it was, if you heard that little click, um, if you hear that click around the never falter, never fail, um, that is because when he put it on the eight track, that's where the track actually clicked. So it like, it like had to go to the next track in the middle of the song. So, um, so what we're going to do, I've recreated this. <clears throat> I've recreated this. And uh, we're going to see what happens here. But I used, um, I used Tracy's The Fiddle. I used uh, Tracy's Renegade Acoustic. Uh, and his uh, resonator guitar, and then I, I I had to go to Groove Agent Three for my train beat. But but what we're gonna do? We're gonna have some fun here with this, and um, I'm gonna just sing a little bit. We're gonna have some fun just kind of jamming out with the banjo and with Tracy's instruments here, and make sure this is uh, the harmonies turned off because I'm gonna play the banjo. I've got the picker on. Okay, so I'm gonna get my articulation back to where. Okay, there we go. Are you ready for this? No, we're gonna. Okay, here we go. So life's railway to heaven, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little jam session here with this. So here we go. <laughs> oh brother, let me take let me get ready here. <laughs> mm. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, oh man. Start at the beginning, here we go. <laughs> here we go, praise the Lord. Okay, start at the beginning, where are we? Okay, okay, yeah, there we go. Start at the beginning. Life is like a mountain railroad. With an engineer that's brave, we must make the run successful from the cradle to the grave. Lots of curves, hills, and tunnels never fall to never fail. Keep your hand upon the So, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for, for that. Um, wow. It's amazing. Yeah. So you notice that I had some harmony. You notice I had some harmony there. And so uh, that's because um, I was trying out, um, I was trying out the um, Waves Harmony 
and uh, I was trying out the waves harmony and uh, and I thought, why not, why not? And so what happens is you set up a MIDI track that has the harmony and then whatever you sing, whatever I sing, it's harmonized, it's harmonized, where the angels wait to join us. See, that's why I was able to get that, because I laid the harmony MIDI track down. In that grave. It's time to be joyful, 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 joyful. And it's so, and I got lost in doing this because it responds to your dynamic too. Uh, That's enough of that. <laughs> but that's so much fun. Uh, that is just so much fun. But the banjo just, that is what, um, that's what just inspires me. It inspires me to just, to play these instruments that uh, Tracy puts together. Uh, they just pull out uh, the performances. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And I really encourage you to check out um, check out the, his other libraries. And I tell you what, oh, let's see, while we're here, uh, somebody had mentioned the fiddle. And so let me just throw the fiddle in here just so you guys can take a look at that. And um, yeah, thank you for subscribing Visual Matrix. Welcome, welcome to the channel. So here's the fiddle. And basically it's the same layout as the, uh, as the banjo. Uh, because you can you got the legato mode so when you play it soft it's legato and when you hit it it's going to hit hit the ch hit the the chunks i call them That's cool. And then we've got the harmonizing engine. Oh no, this is the uh, the player. Yeah. And you've got controls over uh, all of that, um, all of those settings. And um, let's see, we've got a harmony engine here. Just the same principle. Uh, this is just really wonderful. And with the settings, you have um, controls over the key switch locations and the harmony dynamics and all of that. Um, and the company's name, this is, uh, this is from Indigenous. And uh, it's just, just like it sounds, Indigenous. And he, I mean, I'm telling you, it's just, he's just really is doing such a great job with these libraries. Uh, the fiddle, the banjo, all of his uh, instruments have just su such a very special touch on them uh, that really captures um, captures the imagination. Just very, very good. So that is. Um, that is the banjo, banjo, and the fiddle. Just, uh, and make sure you check out uh, the links in the description. And uh, man, just uh, thank you for all the love and support. 
So now, here we go. Okay, yeah, okay, so good. We're, we're making, I feel like we're making good time. Mm. And if it's your first time, if it's your first time here um, at the home of the joyful sound, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe and click on those notifications. And one more thing while I'm here, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of things uh, with uh, native, native Instruments developers, but you know, Native Instruments just released uh, Complete 14 and uh, Contact 7, and they've made some big changes. And so what I'd like for you to do, if you, do, if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you would just uh, send Native Instruments an email or a tweet or a post, and let them know that you would like to see uh, more uh, more native instruments uh, libraries on the channel, and that way, uh, hopefully, we can get connected. It's been a little difficult connecting with native instruments directly, but uh, but if they hear from you guys uh, that you enjoy the content, enjoy what we're doing here, that would really that would really help us um, out. And I hear, okay, say wait, wave, wave to everybody, yeah. There she is. There. Oh my gosh. She's gonna break. She's gonna break the internet. She's just so beautiful. That's my. That's my best friend and and uh, partner for thirty seven years. Thirty six years. We're on. We're on our thirty seventh. So. Mm. Well. Okay. <clears throat> so let's. Um, yeah. So just send send an email to Native Instruments. That says, hey, give Simeon some love. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna make sure this is muted. Now we're gonna get into some crazy territory. Um, and this is another, because, you know, listen, I love I love showing things that you guys wanna see. And, um, and so someone had mentioned about the pipe organs. I've done, um, I've, I've done the Royal Albert Hall organ, which is phenomenal. It's, it's so phenomenal. You gotta check out that video. And I've done so many different other videos on different pipe organs. And so, um, oh, <laughs> not quite my friend, not quite here. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm just making sure I'm managing my muting. Oh, oh wow, that's interesting. Okay, so we won't do that. Um, Okay, so yeah, and someone mentioned about the Spitfire symphonic organ, and and so I reached out to Spitfire, and they were gracious enough to um, allow me to, um, you know, take a look at not only the symphonic organ, and but we're also going to take a look at the Union Chapel organ as, uh, and then we might even take a look at the Labs pipe organ. The Labs pipe organ is free, um, and uh, let's see, let's just pull this up. And just take a quick look, and that is coming. Uh, so the symphonic organ is uh, was recorded at the rugby school, and just like pianos, every instrument has a different sound. And this one is three thousand seven hundred and twenty-one pipes uh, in an, in a chapel, and um, and so let's go to the chapel and hear some pipe organ. The thing about pipe organs is there's no way that you could sample. 3,700 and something pipes and put them together in such a way you, there, there would not be a sample library that could handle something like that. And But what they've done is that they've given you different stops and presets that you can use. And it's kind of interesting because it starts slow and then it, it starts soft and then it continues to get bigger. So let's just kind of work our way in with, with this. See, this is the lowest stop. Welcome, everyone. Yeah. And it's just captured. And then we've got different uh, mixes. We've got, uh, I think you've got like six different mic positions and an ambient feed. Um, And let's go on up. Mm -hmm. 
and we would just keep going up to the stops. Yeah, that's what makes it different. Yeah, it's a large organ in a real small space. Um, and uh, let's go to the next stop. This is the, the diapasons. And having all of these, so um, if you look at the uh, memory indicator here, uh, over there, uh, it's almost four gigabytes of memory loaded in. So all of these stops are just loaded in, and so we can just go from one to the other. So you have all of the stops loaded uh, in at the same time. So that just lets uh, things go on. Let's keep going up. And expression, I've got my expression pedal. And we'll keep going up. We'll keep riding the stop. I think the library, this is like, um, I think it's like two, 249 or something like that. Um, and let me see. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to log out of my account so we can kind of see. Um, okay, will you let me sign out? So we can kind of see the prices because you can't see the price once they've added it. Yeah, there we go. So we can um, see what it is. Yeah, 249, 249. It's got a very beautiful sound. And that's just using this uh, default mic position here. Uh, we can crank up the ambience. And let's go on up. Oh, here we go. And one thing to remember is if you are, uh, if you are a student or a teacher or faculty, uh, you have a few more days uh, to qualify for 50% off on all of Spitfire's uh, libraries. So uh, I think it's until October, sometime in October, maybe maybe October 17th, I'm not sure. Uh, you still have some time. If you're a, if you're a student or a teacher, uh, make sure that you uh, can take advantage of that. Oh, raw brass. Oh, yeah. Listen to this. Wow. And full organ. Let's see. Yeah, and keep going. We're almost to the we're almost to the top. This is all the reeds. No, oh, listen to that.
And now 16 full stops. Here we go. All stops out. Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, shouldst die for me? Amazing love. Wow. You feel it in your bones. You just feel that. Wow. That's incredible. You see what you guys get me into. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Oh, man. That is incredible. Okay, so that is the, uh, that's the symphonic organ. That's the symphonic organ. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, Barry, I saw, I saw that he did that. And I've got to, I've got to actually... I've got to actually check that out. I've got to check that out. Um, wow. And then putting some reverb on here. And yes, so we do have some, um, do have a lot of additional uh, content as well that goes along with this. And let's, um, okay, that's Bernard Herrmann. Let's go down to the symphonic organ. Yeah, so we have, um, we have these warps. And let's just check these out real quick because that's one thing they do. They give you all of these different, um, yeah, so you've got the eDNA engine in here. <laughs> wow. And we can drop down the snapshots here. Uh, not a profit.
again, that's a little too big. Yeah. yeah, they do. So when they take them into the eDNA engine, you've got all of these other warps and different things, um, fragments. Yeah, let me just grab this. Like gate sequencers and things, they take the sounds and just take them to other dimensions. They take them to totally different dimensions here. Um, let's go to... Um, Strain, stained refraction. And it kind of just rolls and rolls and rolls. Let's do one more of these. And then of course you can just go through and change your, um, change, make up your own uh, polar, polar peak. Oh yeah, that's got some ice to it. show you I want to show you the other the other organ the Union Chapel organ now the Union Chapel organ is not a um, contact player library you do have to use the uh, full version of contact but I thought it would be good for us to um, take a look at that let's see okay all manuals and pedals And you can tell it looks it looks a little similar in, in the way they designed it to the symphonic organ. And they actually built the chapel uh, around this organ here. So yes, I've heard of um, organ tech. It's like piano tech, but for organs. And uh, that would be a fabulous, um, fabulous thing to discover. So... And we don't have any snapshots and that kind of thing, but but we do have the stops that we can turn that we can turn on and off and create our own. Uh, and then also, if you look here, the key switch is also dis disable and enable stops as well. You know, Matt, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Nimrod, I'm not quite sure I know exactly what that is. And, it, and you know, uh, because, uh, uh, because of, yeah, just, yeah, I'm not quite sure what that is. I think I know who Nimrod is but uh, in, in mythology, but I'm not sure how. I, I don't know. So, so give me, maybe, maybe uh, send me an email or post it somewhere. And I can I can find out. <laughs> yeah, and Matt, thank you for that super chat. Like, if you're enjoying what's going on, you can just support the channel that way, and um, that's so cool. So,
Yeah, the voices are really nuts. This has got a really interesting sound. It's a warm, um, it's a warm sound. And then I'm just gonna go in and just pop all of them on. And let's just see. Yeah, we've got, yeah, not very many. Yeah, that's really interesting. Okay, so let's go. We've got some presets here. Oh my goodness. This is a big organ here. Let's drop that in there. Okay, so here is, uh, here's using like the eDNA engine. And you hear more of the effects. You can do so much with these. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. This is what I want. Oh, that's what I did, yeah. So let's do um, atmospheric organ pad. Oh, wow. That's wild. And you can blend back and forth. Okay, so let's just do one more. Let's see, calming beauty. Okay. This is calming beauty. And the mod wheel controls the phaser. So it's just not organs that you're getting. You're getting soundscape design and so many, so many different things. Okay, so yeah, let's just go back. Okay, and we we got we have control over the individual stops. We've got some some um, in the quick loads here. Uh, let's just do let's do the great the great manual. And you can actually put these on different MIDI channels. You can have th like three or four instances of this. And, um, you know, one could be the great, one could be the swell, one could be the pedals. Yes, and this, yeah, you do ha have to have contact full version for, th for this one. Yeah. And then we can go, let's see. And we've got um, four different mic positions. You've got the close mic. Let me turn the close mic on. Yeah, the close mic. And then we've got the ambient and the outriggers. So very nice, very nice. So you can uh, check the links in the description for uh, both of these, uh, both of these organs. Uh, very cool. They, they've just got their own different personalities. And uh, just for grins, um, let's uh, let's pull up the um, let's pull up the free uh, labs pipe organ, and let's see if it shows up here. Yeah. Okay. So here is the here's the labs pipe organ. And we've got uh, a few different uh, presets here. Okay, so this one's called Abyss, and I've not heard this one yet. Oh. So 
So this is the low end. And so here we've got a lot more sound design things going on. This would pair really good with the foghorn. Let's go full organ. So for free, this this sounds this sounds nice. And we've got reverb here. And let's see, let's check out a couple more. Uh, Gagan. Yeah, and you've got the dynamic slider. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Chris, I agree. It it does sound a little a little different, but then again, it's it's a, it's a free uh, a free instrument, which is uh, cool. Yeah, very cool. So you can you can try this uh, for free uh, with the labs uh, the labs instruments here. Yeah. Yeah, it does not uh, it does not take much time to fill up a hard drive, that's for sure. Um You know, Kyle, I I just saw some things about that uh, about the Neanderthal pipe organ uh, or the the or yeah, and I've got to check that out. I will check that out. Um <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's do that, Frank. Let's see. I'm going to just drag it up here. Um I'm just going to drag it up. Yeah, so let's bring up the labs. Um, let's bring up the labs. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> With the fury distortion and just see what happens here. That's what it's all about, really, is just getting something and taking it. Uh... Let's go to, um, let's go to like, um... oh, digital digital crush or video games. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just crushing it. <laughs> okay, let's just try. Let's try 70s. Yeah, it just adds, uh, it just adds a bunch of crunch, a uh, bunch of crunch there. Digital crush. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go on. Let's go on and um, let's just jump into Bernard Herrmann. Uh, let me, okay, I tell you what I'm going to do. I, let me stretch. Let me get a good, uh, let me do a little stretch and then we'll come back with Bernard Herman and, um, and have some fun with that. And so, um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be right back with Bernard Herman.
right, we're getting ready to come back here. <laughs> For some Bernard Herman. Wow. Okay. Well, what a live stream we're having. We're having a lot of fun and welcome back. And um, thanks everybody for joining. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. And Ambient Dave, uh, bless you. It's always good to see you in the chat. It's good to see all of you in the chat. And uh, <laughs> so we're gonna take a look now at, um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and go here so we can find out what the, yeah, this is, this is act, definitely act two. Now, now Bernard Herrmann, uh, as, okay, let's see, here we go. So Bernard Herrmann is just like the, you know, just such a well-known composer. And I know his music mainly from some of my favorite uh, Hitchcock films, uh, which are like uh, The Man Who Knew Too Much and um, North by Northwest, uh, North by Northwest. And so it's just like, um, Incredible. I didn't, I, I didn't get into too much, you know, I'm not too much into like the horror films, like the psycho and stuff, but there's no doubt that, uh, Bernard, uh, Mr. Herman, uh, had such an impact in, uh, film music. And so this was actually one of the first libraries, I think a few years ago, when I first heard about Spitfire that I thought I would love to take a look at. And it is, uh, it's right now through October, uh, it's normally $4.99, and they have it for $3.49 uh, on special. And that's why I wanted to kind of feature it uh, to make sure that I could show it to you guys. And Spitfire, again, such support from them uh, for allowing me to uh, feature these. And they they provide me the uh, libraries, and they just let me go with, go for it. And um, so here we go. We are going to, and th this is a dry, this is the thing now. This is a dry library. Uh, so it's going to sound it's going to sound different than the what we're used to hearing um, in in air studios. So air has that big uh, that big roomy sound that ambience and and so now we're going to go to a different um, different place with this. So let's uh, I'm just going to just go through these and. And also, this is this is a full contact. No, this is a contact player library, so you don't have to worry about um, having the full version of contact. So, we've got uh, all of these different presets. We've got studio orchestra, which is these are ensembles, um, high strings, flutes, trombones, and then we have different uh, techniques. Um, there's there's a lot there's a lot in here to cover, and. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and load up the um, the studio orchestra first. We're just going to kind of run down some things. And then, um, of course, I've got, you know, we always have some fun surprises along the way. So here we go. I'm going to make sure we can see what's going on. Thanks, guys. So here's the studio orchestra. We've got dynamic control with the mod wheel. So this is the whole orchestra playing together. And this is the long notes. And we've got uh, shorts. Let me crank this up here.
Yes, Fred Friedrich. Yeah, you've got to listen to the the official demos. Really put things in uh, into in context. Um, now these are chords. Yeah, and and they've got this dynamic. got major keys, minor. And how they ebb and flow. Oh yeah. Got some dissonance. That's really cool. And then some effects. Yes, they give you several different uh, chord. And these are great because they're actually performed, and, and so it just is so cool. Yes, yeah, so you got downs and, and you got ups. Yeah, it's just those little spices that. Uh... Oh, listen to this. Yeah. Wow. So these are some clusters. And then they snap at the end. That's wild. And then we've got uh, chatters. That's wild. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so let's do uh, let's do some more. Um, so we got high strings. Yeah, it's 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 just so dry and in your face that uh, it's just um, yeah. And that's 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 one of the things about this is that they they have done a lot of work, uh, you know, premeditating so to speak the the groupings and the way that things are mic'd and uh, it's uh, it's interesting. So this is the high strings. Dynamics. And shorts, yeah, spiccato. Yeah. Okay, let me do this. Yeah, spiccatos and pizzicatos. A lot of fun. Call leg nose. It's just a more just a sharper hit. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, some. Yeah. That's that's interesting. So the articulations are they vary in volume. <laughs> what? Tremolo. See, listen. Yeah, you hear, you hear like a little bump and the... 
Yeah. When they release, it's the, the release. But you don't hear that almost cavernous decay uh, with these because they recorded it in, in that drier studio too. Here's the trill. And you hear, you know, you hear all of this stuff going on in the background. You hear the players in the background. The studio noise. It's very dry, George. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Let's keep going. Okay, we don't need snapshot. If you don't need uh, quick load, we'll go here. So let's do low strings and horns. Good night, Les. Yeah, the dynamics. Very cool. And then we've got the consordino. mixed with strings, the low strings and horns. Very nice. Shorts. So they're muted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pits. Yes. Yeah, so with the shorts and the pizzicato, they get they have muted. And dynam and dynamics are controlled by velocity on the shorts. And with the colleg note, the mutes are a little bit different. Wow. Yeah, it's like you can fall way, way down in the rabbit hole with this. Uh, low strings and trombones. So that was low strings and French horn. And now we've got low strings and trombones here. Oh, legato. So we got... Very nice. And we've got the longs. The thing I run into a lot is that uh, the range, the range, the range, like for this, stops like like it's right here that's one of the things that kind of flummoxed me a couple of times is like i wanted to play kind of outside of the range that they gave us but that also helps to restrict you to to use some creativity in how you're playing this um so that's the long and trombones a piccolo and flutes. We'll just kind of go down this. Um, and he, yeah, yeah, Mike, he also used synthesizers too. I think that was pretty groundbreaking uh, for that time. Um, I think it just 
he just kind of pushed, you know, composing forward a little bit. Yeah, Justin, that's right. Yeah, so they just limited the range. They just found the um, the sweet spot. And it, yeah, so it's almost like the film scoring selections uh, with Abbey Road One. It's just they've 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 just kind of kind of what they call curated. Um, I like that legato. Very cool. And we've got the uh, the longs. Very cool. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's do, okay, so the concert flutes. I think Justin, you mentioned something about, uh, about those. Yeah. It's a 12, 12 ensemble um, with the flutes. Yeah, this is all about discovery uh, for me. Yeah, discovering. Now let's push the mics out a little bit. So right now we just have the tree and you see all of these other mic positions that are available. Um, so let's push these, um, let's just push these out some more. It just makes them sound a little farther away. Legato is nice and uh, flutter. The combination of these flutes are very, it makes it sound so nice and rich. Yeah, I agree, Mike. Yeah, those little those little things, those release things at the end. It's just it's just got some organic life to it. Um, very cool. Yeah. Rips. Some mordants. So you got major and minor, M major and minor. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you've got to wait for the sales sometimes because you'll be surprised at uh, at what uh, what you'll come up with. So there's so much here. Let's uh, go to um, oboes. Okay, no low winds. Let's go to the low winds. So this is the bassoons and uh, yeah. Boom. No, we don't want to do that. There we go. <laughs> oh, now that's, yeah. And if you're on headphones, you hear how that sound just kind of... And they call uh, this, um, the way they recorded it, kind of boisterous and... Uh... Really cool.
very fun. Okay, so oboes, bassoons, and horns. So they group these ensembles together um, specifically for this style. Very interesting. Yeah, and when they record these in the sections like that, it captures just an organic um, thing. Yes, and so we do have some stereo mixes here um, that uh, take all of those different things. Yeah, thanks, Justin. Man, you, you like, you're, you're like my um, wingman on some of these live streams. Thank you for all the help and the feedback. Um, so... Yeah, so this is, yeah, so you can you can use these stereo mixes and lighter mixes, and there are even, um, there are even some other presets that are light, that are resource light. So it, if you've got a huge template or if you've got memory restrictions and that kind of thing, this is great. They give you um, economic light and then time stretch different uh, patches that kind of help you um, manage that because when you have multiple layers and instruments in there, uh, you can really chew up a lot of um, a lot of memory. So, okay, let's do let's do trumpets, and we're just going to hit the like the major things uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the sound. Um, like uh, like someone mentioned earlier, you really go in and listen to some of those demos. <laughs> So this is a trumpet and xylophone combined together. And this is if, if I had if I had one <laughs> if I had one gripe, you know, it was like there are no uh, there's just not a standalone trumpet patch. There's not a standalone trumpet ensemble. Uh, this is the only trumpet that you get. It sounds it seems like I mean, because I've been looking for trumpets and this is like the only thing that you get and you cannot separate the xylophone from the uh, from the trumpet. So that's the only that's the only disappointing thing I think so far as as like the other thing is is for me to to wrap my head around the the ranges and curation types of things. Um, but I really wish they would have given us uh, just a, a solid trumpet uh, section. Now these are the horns. Mm. just blaze those things up. And we've got uh, some common chords here. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Mm, wow. Very cool. Yeah, so... Um, Here's the, um, oh, okay, okay, mid-brass. And then mid-brass has more, um, more. <laughs> We've got trumpets here. And the trumpet is bla is blasting it. Wow. 
Wow. I just wish they had that. Yeah. Yeah, so the shorts, the shorts tend to be lower in volume. Wow, that's fun. Okay, so let's keep going here. Dun, 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 dun. I love the brass. I wish they would have just given us the trump trumpets kind of where we could blend it in uh, in, a, in a different way. Okay, trombones and timpani. See, they've given us trombones and... Um... Oh, wow. Dennis, good to see you. It is just a really huge package. I keep wanting to go back to the uh, snapshot menu. Um, so this is Harp and Celeste. It's just, it is a toolkit. It is absolutely a toolkit. Uh, So you got the Celeste up in these higher octaves. Wow. Yeah, it just kind of pulls you, uh, pulls you away. Yes. The dry sound is really the hallmark of this. Uh, the the way that they were able to capture that, um, and then here's the Andes um, Martinot, uh, which is a really interesting instrument. And um, I've I've been saying I think I think if I had a nickel for every time I said interesting, this is like an early synth. It's kind of an organy um, sound, but uh, <laughs> yes, 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 yeah, Justin, yeah. So yeah, I can own interesting, and we can have Paul uh, be excited. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. 
Oh, that sounds like a video game. Yeah. Okay, and then, then the birds effects. Let's see. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, so let's let's do this. <laughs> let's see what we can do. Um, and then you've got a whole bank full of percussions and stereo mixes. Um, you've got individual, you've got the individual articulations broken down. Uh, so, so that way, that way you can, you can load an instance of contact or load an instrument in contact and only have one in, one articulation for that. Um, and I think that is really cool how they were able to do that. So, um, so we've got individual and we've got the legato techniques separated. Um, and then we've got the synths. Uh, we've got a whole, whole folder full of synths. Let's go to a galactic pad and, um, and then it uses their, um, oh, I guess their, what, what is it? Oh, I, they've got a name for this engine, but it's like their synth engine. Oh, yes. We stepped out on the planet's surface. There were no signs of life, but I, I felt like someone was watching. Yeah, this is the original Mercury. It was a blustery day on Planet X. We were due to a, do a series of experiments on some soil samples. Don't look at it! <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. It's just crazy. Uh, so, uh, space, base, sustains. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole section in here. Um. Yeah, so you can take that with the... Yeah, so they're taking these orchestral sounds and processing them through the original Mercury synth and um, Squelchy Moog. Oh yeah, hey Jim, listen, we've been getting into Tune In With Me and they've been showing a lot of classic cartoons and we love, we love it. We love Daffy Duck. Um, oh my goodness, you, you never know. <laughs> you never know, Dennis. It's just crazy. Weird noises. Weird noises, like we don't have enough things going on. That's wild. Yeah, it's unexpected. The unexpected. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to blow up the Earth with my Q46 space modulator. Ooh, ooh, you've made me very angry. <laughs> very angry indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Duck Dodgers in the 23 and a half century. Pfeffer and Thuckatash. <laughs> yeah, wobbles in space. Okay, 
So we've got to do this. We've got to do this. What live stream is complete without um, diving into Unify? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, and the thing is, it, it's that dated, uh, it's that dated sci-fi sound. If we use it today, it brings a freshness. There's a freshness about it. That's why a lot of these scores for television and movies, they're using a lot of these um, more, uh, you know, the vintage techniques. Uh, it brings such um, a newness uh, to uh, to things. Okay, so. We've got to we've got to check out Unify here, and this is what I've this is what I've done. What have you done? I'm gonna close the browser. But this is what I've done. Look at this. I've got um, I've got nine I've got nine instances of contact here, and the first um, the first one I've got uh, the low strings. Low strings, high strings, horns, and mid brass, trombones, flutes and clarinets, oboes, studio orchestra, and timpani. So I pretty much have just this huge Bernard Herrmann ensemble here. Let's go. Um, let's just take that down so we won't get that. Just have the low and high strings together, just kind of solo those. That's what I love about Unify too, is because you can um, take the low strings and the high strings and bring them together, uh, bring these ensembles together in, in new ways that uh, aren't possible uh, with, you know, it's just like, that's why, that's why I really enjoy using this. And then with velocity switching, I think I have like um, my velocity set up where the, the horns come in at like uh, 28 and the mid brass comes in at 50. the studio orchestra down here on a layer that kind of is a glue that glues everything together. This is going to go. So 
So that's a little bit of the Bernard Herman. I've got to tell you a funny story though. That when we went and saw the uh, the man who knew too much, you know the the iconic scene where where Doris Day is in Royal Albert Hall, and you see the curtain pull back, and the gun comes through the curtain. <laughs> so it's this classic Hitchcock, the gun. You you see the gun coming around like this, and then all of a sudden the film stopped because the projector blew. The projector blew the bulb and it was like right, you know, the timpani was rolling up and everything. And then all of a sudden, everything went, everything went off and it just went off. And so they gave us a choice. They said, okay, so what we can do, we can give you a refund or we can change the bulb and uh, pick it up from where that, that part left off. And it was incredible. I mean, they went back, they went back and, uh, started the film just a little bit before that scene and it was just like being on a roller coaster and it just took us right to that place see what i'm talking about it's just like incredible and it is yes justin it is 147 gigabytes and you have to have 296 gigabytes in order to install it. So um, it's great. It's been a great time. Great time with everybody today, man. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you guys for joining me and thanks again for all of the love and support. Uh, I really uh, I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to load up something here. I'm going to load up something that we can... Um... <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Oh, where are you? Okay, yeah. Let me just do this. I want to do this real quick. I think this is going to be fun. Um, yeah, I just thank you so much. And uh, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, send Native Instruments an email for me. Uh, and, um, and just say, hey... We need to see Complete 14 or Contact 7 on Simeon's channel. <laughs> Here we go. Ah. So here we go. Thank you guys for joining me. Again, this is Simeon uh, from praisetracks.com. And now it's time to say goodbye to Simeon and all of his friends. <laughs> We're glad that you kindly dropped in. Come back next week to this locality to have a heap and helping of our hospitality. Stay joyful, that is. Come again. We'll see you real soon. See you again. Stay joyful. <laughs>